Welcome back. So in the previous video, we finally started creating our contact page. In the contact page, we added the header, we added the footer and we added the social icons as well. In this video, we are finally going to finish our contact page by adding the form as well. So let's get started. Let's go to our contact page and in our contact page, let's first of all add a form as well. So and at the top of social icons, I am going to create a form section. So I'm going to wrap it inside a div called contact form container. Perfect. Inside that I'm going to add a form. So inside that I'm going to name it. I'm going to give the class name to that form as contact form. And inside that contact form. So again, this section is mostly about styling this adding a contact form you already know it's just input input and a button input text area and a button so yes it's nothing nothing rocket science going on here it's just that there will be a lot of styling so i'm going to give assign it a type of email and then i'm going to give it a placeholder of your email id and then i'm going to give it a name of underscore reply to or let's let's give it a name of reply only or let's give it a name of email as of now we'll change it later on i'll tell you how to integrate uh, various services third party services which can allow you to send an email to uh, i mean which will allow the users to send an email to you so the any user who is visiting your page can actually send an email to you in real time so i'll tell you how to do that but for now let's just keep it simple input box and again email input so i'm going to give it two uh, stylings because uh, the input box will be common the stylings for input box will be common between this and this and the and the email input will have the extra stylings which are input requires perfect so now after that so this is let's add comments here so this is for email id input perfect so let's add one more comment here saying uh, this would be email body okay what happened to this yeah let's add it email body perfect so inside here i'm going to create a text area uh, okay text area and the text area of course is going to have another type as text let's change it to small case text it's also going to have a placeholder inside that placeholder i'm going to say your email or your message your message would be more appropriate the name is going to be message perfect and the class name can be again input box and body input so the earlier one was email input and this is body input perfect so we don't need to add anything inside the text area since we are using placeholder if we were not using placeholder we could have added some text here perfect so now only thing remaining is submit button perfect so now we can add a button as well i'm going to add a button i'm going to give it a type of submit and then i'm going to give it a class name of contact btn perfect and i'm going to write send email inside of it perfect this is perfect this is 100 percent perfect but now as you can see this does not look <laughs> good at all so if you were if you would have to deploy this portfolio with this kind of email input it will be bad it will be super bad <laughs> your your users are not going to like it so perfect so let's give it some styling for for uh, so as you already know we are going to start with the container so this contact form container is going to be of width 50 percent so again i'm going to go super fast in this you already know why because you already know that it's just styling and styling is super simple because we are an expert at styling aren't we yes we are so 70 pixels no that i'm just kidding that there's nothing as an expert at styling because <laughs> the, uh, even the most expert people sometimes face weird issues so css is like this only so <laughs> just <laughs> this is completely completely um, fine even if you are facing a lot of issues in css and styling it's completely fine a lot of people do that let me tell you still i still face issues a lot of times while using css whereas i have been a web developer since almost four or five years now so there's nothing wrong in facing issues the only thing is you should know how to resolve them and you should know how to google those issues to resolve them 
Perfect. So let's do a flex direction of column. So you should know that those things are going to appear column wise. By those things, I mean uh, the form, form elements. Perfect. So align items. So again, that should be horizontally and center uh, vertically aligned. So I'm going to give align items as center and I'm also going to give justify content as center. This is perfect. So let's see what happened to our page. So at least it has become vertical now. Let's style the individual elements as well. So for the individual elements, I'm going to put some stylings to my input box first, which is common between both of them. So I'm going to give it a background color of white, hashtag FFF, and I'm going to give it a width of 100%. And I'm going to give it a border of uh, not radius, border radius also we have to give, let, let's give it afterwards. Uh, one pixels solid and some shade of gray. So I'm going to give it E8, E8, E8. Again, this is just a shade of gray. I'm going to give it a box sizing of border box as always. I'm going to give it a box shadow. Box shadow again, I'm going to give it zero pixels, two pixels, two pixels, and RGBA of black with an alpha value of 0 0.25. Perfect, let's give it a border radius as well. So border radius could be 39 pixels. Perfect, let's give it a little bit of padding. 19 pixels top and bottom, 35 pixels left and right. Perfect, let's give it a little, little bit of margin. So that margin will be 10 pixels top and bottom, 10 pixels top and bottom, zero pixels left and right. Let's give it a font family of, uh, font family of Roboto if you want or Montserrat if you want, it's completely up to you. Let's give it a Roboto this time if you want just for a change but it's completely up to you what font style you want to give so don't worry about that roboto so i just give it roboto just for a change because we have used uh, poppins and montserrat a lot of times in our um, project so i'm going to give it a font size of uh, let's say 14 pixels should be good enough perfect and let's give it a line height of 16 pixels let's see how it goes so this is looking superb this is looking perfect so let's do one more thing now let's just quickly add some styling for the body input and the email input as well so for the body input i'm going to give it a height of 250 pixels and i'm going to give it a padding of 25 pixels top and bottom 35 pixels left and right perfect so as you can see here now i have some proper stylings for my email input and my message input the only thing remaining here is the contact button now for the contact button, we are going to see a lot of styling here. Again, let's start with margin. Uh, margin are going to be 10 pixels, top and bottom, zero pixels, left and right. Let's give it a border of none because we don't want any border here. Let's give it a color of white, hashtag. Um, or do we want to give it a color of white contact button? Yes, white would be amazing. I was thinking let's give it a color of gray, but then white is also looking good. So no, no problem as such. So, okay, let's give it a pro uh, color of white. And then let's give it a font weight of bold. Let's give it a font family of Roboto. Again, you can change it if you want. Let's give it a font style of normal. Let's give it a font size of, let's say 14 pixels. Yeah, that should be fine line height again 16 pixels and then let's give it a width of 100 percent or you what you can do is as you can see the font size line height and these things are common in this so you can probably extract it out in a common class and then provide that class name here but it's completely up to you you already know the game you already know very well how to do these things perfect so let's give it a text align center because we want to show the send email in the, at the center. Let's give it a little bit of padding as well. If we haven't already, let me check. Yes, we haven't given the padding. So let's give it a padding of 17 pixels and 35 pixels. That is perfect. So that's cool. Let's give it a background of linear gradient. So we can copy and paste the linear gradient background from let's say our app.css app.css would have it not app.css let's go to our home page home.css it would have a linear gradient okay even that dot okay that was header.css home.css would have a background of linear gradient let's give it the same linear gradient here so it's completely perfectly fine and that should be it i guess let's give it some border radius as well 
border radius as 35 pixels. Now this should do it. Let's finalize it by giving a little bit of extra width inside our small screen sizes. So in the small screen size, the form container is going to be of width 80% instead of 50%. Perfect. This is so cool. This is working perfectly fine. And that's it for this video. Let's end this video here. And to integrate the services, which I was talking about to make it functional, that people are able to actually use this to send an email to you. Let's cover that in next to next video. In next video, let's quickly design our con projects page as well. And in the next to next video, we'll make this form functional. Perfect. See you in the next video. Bye bye.